Hey everyone, okay, so I thought today what I would do is I would show you the my favorite products, the ones that are right in front of me. So I, I have this mirror that I film with and it's got the lights around and placed against it are all the favorite products that I use because um, they're just extraordinary and that are my favorite products to use on people. So let's just make a start. So let's start. So the first one in no order. Um, is strobe cream by MAC. Now I really like uh, this one which is the pink light. I just think it's really beautiful. It's a wonderful primer, it's absolutely worth using. Another primer that is the holy grail of primers because it's like glue is philosophy and it's the present. Now all the uh, links are in the description bar below. This stuff you will feels like glue on the skin and your foundation, everything sticks to it. After you've applied it, you need to wait at least two minutes. I really would wait longer. It needs time to stick, otherwise it's gonna be a nasty mess. Love this. This is um, Fasali, and it is the Rose Gold Elixir. I just think it's so beautiful. It is beautiful with mixing with foundations. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury, this is the Magic Eye Rescue. So it is the eye cream, really nice to apply underneath the eye area before you go in with your concealers and things like that. It just keeps the area hydrated. Magic cream. Burn through this stuff on people like nobody's business. It is the best. It is amazing. If you want to take out a small mortgage, then Le Mer. It is beautiful stuff. It preps the skin like nobody's business. If I could pick, I would pick Charlotte Tilbury, but luckily I've got both. Thank you very much. Um, great primer, Hangover. Absolutely beautiful primer. Um, even though the present by philosophy is the holy grail of primers, you know, not everybody needs that kind of longevity. Hangover primer is beautiful. Huda's primer is also really good, which is the Complexion Rescue. So that's a great, great product as well. Um, these are lovely. Um, use under foundation or mix a drop or two in. They're by Cover FX and they are extraordinary. I mean, let me just show you. Under mixing with foundations, these are a joy. They are so beautifully reflective. Um, this is a great product, Spackle Mist by Laura Geller. Um, that's what I have on my face today, by the way, is Laura Geller, um, Balance and Brighten in Fair. So Fair is exactly, let me show you, Fair is exactly my color. It is, that's my color. That's what I use. And I've actually got a bit of the um, bronze and brighten on in light as well. So I've got that um, around the perimeter. These are really good. Uh, another great product, really expensive for what it is, is the Tatia and the sort of Lumus Dewy Mist product. That's really, really, really beautiful. Um, See, this is all like skincare stuff for prepping the skin. Fenty Beauty, this is great, the Pro Filter. It's spot on, absolutely spot on. Holy Grail of Primers is obviously Hourglass Mineral Veil. I mean, you can't go wrong, everybody seems to love it. Uh, two really good ones, the Youth Brightening Glow by Charlotte Tilbury is really, really nice. It does have a very minor whitening effect on the skin, I think is how you would probably put it. Um, it's very nice, but Wonder Glow is still a great one. What I would tend to do is I would put the moisturizer on, I'd put the primer on in areas where I know there's problems. Then I would apply Wonder Glow to kind of this area here. And then I would apply something like Cover FX, the really shimmery one, right on the high points, and then go over it with foundation. Um, oh, this is great. This is, I reviewed this recently, the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This can be used with um, on its own, mix with foundations, after foundation, mix it with foundation. It creates a like spa, um, like a, a sticky kind of feel to the foundation and it just holds onto the skin so much, so much better. Um, I'm actually gonna show you something that's not related, um, but I can't find it. Oh, there it is, silly Billy. This is called the um, Freckle Stencil. <laughs> and it is a Freckle Stencil and you pop it on where you want and then you um, apply, let me see if I can do it, I'll do it blind, and then you apply some 
you apply fake tan to it really, um, but I'm going to show you how to use it differently. So I'm going to take all of them, and this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. When it comes to eyebrow products, you know what I mean, you can't really go too wrong. I have realized that the mirror's all the way over there and I can't really see what I'm doing. Um, so what you do is you put this product, this on your face, and then you go over it with either fake tan or, as I'm using, this brow product. And it creates a smattering of freckles. Can you see that? Let me zoom in. Is that enough? I don't know if you can see. It creates a really realistic smattering of freckles. And then you can place this all around your face. It's a five, it costs five pounds. So it wasn't, you know, and obviously when you do it with fake tan, you're left there with permanent freckles, with semi-permanent freckles, but then you use foundation, it's covered up again. But I just think that's extraordinary because they just look really realistic. And because I use the Auburn, it's a bit more red, which um, gives it a bit more of a beautiful kind of um, feel. I love it, I think it's so youthful looking. But anyway, let me zoom back out. Um, oh, that's too far, Never mind. That's it, that's my favorite products. Um, I did have another video planned and um, it's, it's on hold. <laughs> it's on hold, it's a strange world out there. Unfortunately, when you're not a part of um, social media, you don't partake in it, you don't participate, you don't view, um, it's, it's a peculiar world. I, I, I like to keep things about makeup and not about what people say and do, and it can become quite frustrating when you're trying to produce something and deal with something, and post something, and then suddenly everyone at you is going, you can't do that, you can't say that, you can't do this, this person did a bad thing, and you're just like, oh my God, it's, it's a lot to take in, and um, especially for someone like me, who just wants to talk about makeup. But I, you know, it's, it's, it's an incredibly, it's an incredible world. I tell you, the social media is, it's very unforgiving. <laughs> it's very unforgiving. There you go, that, these are some great products. They truly are absolutely beautiful. Um, and I just I fucking love this, this freckle stencil. I mean, it's, I posted a picture on Instagram. It's like, what is sexier than, you know, a 40 year old man with freckles? I mean, is there anything hotter? I don't think so. Hot, hot. See you next time, bye-bye.